Hello and welcome to another Frivolous webisode. Before we go any further, no, these are not lip injections gone wrong. I just had to conceal a cold sore right on my cupid's bow and I had to overdraw my lips. So let's look past that, shall we? Let's dig into my everyday morning skincare routine. If you want to see other videos I did on this matter, I've posted an overview video on my skincare and then a video on my cleansers. And it will all be linked as usual on my blogs, both Portuguese and uh, in English down below. A little disclaimer, uh, I have very moody skin, although it has been far more stable throughout the past few months, I still have to address certain different situations and worries at different times, so I have plenty of products to talk about. First thing, I cleanse my skin with the Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. I've talked about this in my other video about cleansers. Next thing is this Ren Flash Rinse One Minute Facial. This is a sort of a more clean brand. This is sort of a gritty textured paste that you massage onto your skin and then you dampen your fingers and you massage it a bit more and you leave it on your skin for one minute and then rinse it off and this has a lot of vitamin C so it's sort of a quick power peel that doesn't that isn't as strong as a peel I use this about twice a week, two to three times a week, and whenever I have a special event and I need my skin to look more luminous and even, this gives me a good boost. Next thing, and this is the foundation of all of my skincare, is hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid will penetrate into your skin and grab onto all the water molecules and stay like that and keep them there. And in the long run, it will make your skin look and feel more plumped and will keep the nourishment inside for it to be more hydrated. And the one I use is uh, The Ordinary. If you haven't heard about this brand F and if you're on the budget, please look into it. Uh, in Europe they sell through Victoria's Health. I think I have, I'll have everything linked on my blogs. They have basically the active ingredients that actually are proven to work, are uh, suspended in other non-active ingredients just to make them be absorbed by the skin better and that's it. No frills, no fuss, no other compounds, no strange and really expensive ingredients. You can mix and match these uh, products with your current skincare or with each other and create your own cocktail with extra this or that, so it's really good. No expensive packaging, although I adore this packaging, and that's why they're so affordable. This serum has costed me under six pounds, so it's a really, really good uh, brand for this kind of stuff. This is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% and B5, and this is sort of a um, jelly, serum -y texture, and this is the first thing I apply to my skin. The next thing I apply to my skin is antioxidants, vitamin C or l ascorbic acid as uh, it is uh, better known. And I have two options depending on whether I'm wearing makeup or I'm not wearing makeup. This is the vitamin C suspension 23% plus HA spheres 2%? Yeah, this is a very high concentration of vitamin C and this is the old packaging. I think they, they've at least repackaged this. I don't know if they have reformulated it. And this is a very particular product because it's um, a thick serum that once applied to your skin, it is absorbed by the skin, but uh, a few little powdery particles remain on your skin. And that's why I use it when I'm not wearing makeup. You can make it work, mix it with your uh, moisturizer or other products and it will sink into the skin, but I prefer to use it as is. And they say that uh, the um, suspended powder particles of vitamin C is the best way for your skin to absorb the vitamin C and that's, that's why they do it like that. I can't confirm or deny, but um, I have been having really good results. Again, this is a very high concentration. They have a lower percentage of vitamin C serum. Uh, on their website, which is better for um, more sensitive skins because this may tingle a bit. 
If I am wearing makeup, which is most of the days, to be honest, I'm using this Ren Radiance Perfection Serum. Again, it has uh, antioxidants in it, vitamin C, and I think a little bit of hyaluronic acid also. Don't quote me on that. And it's a very thin serum. It's really light on the skin, absorbs very quickly again doesn't uh, create any sort of weird texture. It is a bit tacky, a bit like the hyaluronic acid, but because I'm applying other things on top of it, it's okay. The only drawback of this one, this has a pump, which is good. Vitamin C and antioxidants in general shouldn't be exposed to air nor light. Um, and this has a pump, but the packaging is um, transparent, it's glass. Uh, so I don't know if they managed to stabilize vitamin C, which would be odd. I keep it in a drawer just to make sure it is in the dark. The next thing is again an extra step. I discovered this uh, product again, gift with purchase by Cult Beauty, yes. And I am in love. This is the Ren Flash Hydro Boost. And again, it's a bit gimmicky. This is a cream you massage onto your skin and then you apply a bit of water and massage it until fully absorbed onto your skin. And this makes my skin feel so plump and it's an immediate sensation of nourishment and it feels so smooth and scrumptious that I really adore this product. Because the water in my area is really hard, instead of using water, I use a mist and this is the Aroma Water by Lush. I love this. It smells of roses. It has a bit of fragrance in the ingredients but I really think this really uh, nourishes my skin and makes it feel more hydrated so I just have it in a smaller um, container that has a better spray because it's finer. Oh it smells so good and that's what I use on a daily basis. I massage it onto the skin this is the step that takes a little bit longer, just making sure this is all absorbed, but I don't know, 15 seconds and you're done. Uh, the next thing uh, that I do is to apply a moisturizer and or an oil. Basically, you have your hyaluronic acid grabbing onto the nutrients and the water molecules on your, on your skincare, and then you should apply something uh, that creates a layer, a barrier between the outer world and your skin and lock everything in place and that's what a moisturizer basically does it is a barrier I have a two moisturizers here again depending on my skin's needs this is the Antipodes vanilla pod hydrating day cream I know that they have released a new one which is slightly lighter this is a slightly more hydrating uh, cream slightly thicker cream that I use mostly in the winter, it smells amazing, has antioxidant properties and a manuka honey which is uh, an anti-inflammatory which is good for acne and breakouts and whatnot which I really adore. The other thing, I have it decanted onto this little pot because I bought the big tub and this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. You can buy it in several sizes, I bought the big tub which I would advise against because this has antioxidants and having a big tub it will be exposed to air and your fingers and it will take ages to finish which is a good thing uh, but uh, you will save some money but if you don't use it all over your body which you can and it is excellent uh, maybe you should refrain from that and buy the smaller containers and this is lighter than the Antipodes one and I really enjoy this cream because it is immediately absorbed by your skin. Men like this. Complementing this, I sometimes use an oil. So I mix one drop of oil onto my moisturizer, uh, mix it up really well and then apply it onto my skin. This is the Antipodes Divine Face Oil with avocado oil and rosehip. Again, antioxidant. It's a beautiful oil. You can use it daytime or nighttime like this one or like this one. These are beautiful products that you can multitask with when my skin is in need of that extra boost of hydration and nourishment. I really trust this, this range by Antipodes. Last step. This is essential. You know what I'm going to talk about. Sunscreen. 
I have two. Uh, this is the Clarence UV Plus Anti-Pollution, which is an SPF 50. The other one I have is La Roche-Posay Anthelios XL Ultra Light. And these both perform beautifully. It is the ultra light version, so I can use it in the winter. If my skin is drier, maybe this would be the better thing. It depends, uh, as usual. You have to shake it to mix it up. And this one, you also have to shake and I find it to be slightly lighter than the La Roche-Posay one so it depends on my skin's moods. Last thing, eye creams. This one came with the um, Look Fantastic Beauty box a few months ago. This is the Renew Skin Advanced Anti-Aging Lip and Eye Active Lift. I like it. It's nothing too amazing. I'm still using it up because I have it. Uh, it's a lighter texture so it's good for the daytime when you don't want that uh, overly greasy feeling but uh, especially when I'm using retinoids in the evening I want to have something really nourishing on my eye area in the morning so this is the Kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado it's a really thick cream you just see, need the tiniest bit and it's ultra nourishing on the under eye area if you have really dry under eyes this is a good thing to to look into lips a more affordable option uh, because I have problems, you know, I've, I've said that in other videos with lip balms, some of them give me sort of a gritty uh, feeling on my throat. I don't know why. This one does not do that and it creates an amazing um, layer of protection on my lips. It really nourishes them. This is the Nux Rêve de Miel. Uh, I adore this. It's my fifth part of this, maybe. It is not shiny, which is great for the men in life and people who don't like to wear glossy lip balms. On the other end of the spectrum, again gift with purchase by Cult Beauty, this is the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer and this is brilliant. It's the best lip balm I've ever used. It is slightly glossy on your lips. It feels really nourishing. It creates sort of a barrier but it's not sticky or anything. I adore this and I will repurchase one once I run out of it and actually they say if you wear this three times a day for 29 days it will uh, plump your lips and get rid of fine lines which is something that actually interests me but um, other than that it feels amazing on the lips really nourishing and protective and I like it and that's it for my morning skincare routine basically cleanse hyaluronic acid antioxidants nourishment and moisturizer you know and then spf those are the main steps what you use within those steps depends totally on your skin's needs on your skin type you know i hope you found this helpful thank you for spending this little time with me have a great week and i'll see you on the next one bye